The city and county of Denver has nearly 1500 jobs to fill, and it's likely that number could rise once the vaccine mandate takes effect. As Denver 7's Patrick Perez explains, the city isn't waiting to find out. We're trending in the wrong direction in every department in the city of Denver. Denver Mayor Michael B. Hancock sounded the alarm at a budget hearing Friday as the city and county nears 1,500 job vacancies. We are in a competitive environment. As of Monday, there were 1,481 open jobs. About a third of those have offers on the table. But the situation could get worse when the city and county's vaccine mandate takes effect on September 30th. Employees have to submit proof of vaccine, be approved for an exemption, or face termination. According to Friday's numbers, 87% have done so. We acknowledge and recognize that they did something um, upon request um, for all of us. The mayor is also hoping to get approval to give those employees who meet the deadline a $400 bonus. After they've done their thing to say thank you uh, and let them know that their city is grateful for their efforts. Denver is also proposing nearly three quarters of a million dollars to help its recruitment efforts. That includes money for seven new recruiter positions and a little more than a hundred grand on advertising. Right now the biggest holes to fill include the police department and airport. Patrick Perez, Denver 7.